This is Man and Law, a primetime Friday night show on Russian state TV. Its millions of viewers are being fed a diet of baseless conspiracy theories gleaned from across the internet about the coronavirus pandemic. The 15-minute segment was broadcast on April the 24th, the same day a European Union report said Russian state media were waging a coordinated campaign to sow confusion about the origin of the global COVID-19 outbreak. Вот тебе и добрый доктор Айболит Билл Гейтс. Выходит, что миллиардер спонсирует ВОЗ для того, чтобы сократить популяцию планеты. И судя по его выступлениям, делает он это абсолютно осознанно и открыто. In its extensive smear of the Microsoft founder, the report cites a variety of controversial sources without context. They include a homeopathy website called greenmedinfo.com, anti-vaccination campaigner Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and a Canadian pro-life Christian website called lifesitenews.com. Russian experts are also used to explain a bizarre, unfounded narrative about a coronavirus vaccine that's stored on microchips and sewn under people's skin. A New York Times report a week before the show was broadcast said that misinformation circulating in the United States about Bill Gates was now the most widespread coronavirus falsehood on the internet. The report noted that conspiracy theories about Gates were also amplified by people such as Fox News host Laura Ingram and Roger Stone, the former advisor of US President Donald Trump. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything, this TED talk Gates gave in 2015 has had more than 25 million views on YouTube. Some conspiracy theorists have suggested his prescience shows he was somehow behind the coronavirus pandemic. And it also appears in the Russian TV report. His comments reflect what epidemiologists around the world have been warning governments about for years. Gates was asked about the conspiracy theories surrounding him in a Vox podcast recorded on April the 24th, the same day as the Man and Law broadcast. So misinformation is pretty dangerous stuff, particularly in this type of crisis where people's willingness to believe wild things, I think, is heightened. Who should we blame? People want it. You know, we're all in a very tough situation, me less than others, but broadly, you know, somebody said we should take this country and blame them or, you know, this person, you know, who's different than us. And that is dangerous stuff. Russian state media have given prominent airtime to conspiracy theories for months now. This report in February suggested Donald Trump was responsible. Now the same TV channel has turned its sights on Bill Gates. It comes as COVID-19 cases continue to rise rapidly in Russia. And TV viewers need reliable information more than ever.